a new state government agency has been created and it will impact your life. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story from Utah's Capitol Hill. The mega merger of Utah's Department of Health and Utah's Department of Human Services is now complete, creating the single largest state agency. On the birthday of State Health Department founder Dr. Martha Hughes Cannon, state officials celebrated the newly formed Utah Department of Health and Human Services. We have almost 6,000 employees throughout the entire Department of Health and Human Services. Our budget is roughly about $7 billion. The vast majority of that is federal funding through the Medicaid program. The Cox administration and the legislature backed the merger, believing it will create efficiencies. Almost 60% of people receiving services in human services were also receiving services in health. And so bringing that together, we really can focus on the people who we serve. No one is being laid off, but the combined agency's reach will now touch many facets of Utah's life, from the COVID-19 pandemic to disability services, substance abuse, and mental health. The merger is a good thing. I think um, public health and uh, human services should be merged together. Some nonprofits say they're actually supportive of the merger. You know, of course, we had our concerns at the beginning when the pandemic was raging, and we're not out of it yet, but we've seen how these agencies have worked together and they're coming together. But with the combined agency, how does this avoid creating more bureaucracy? Well, that's the challenge, right? And, and that's what we want to avoid. So when we started designing this with input from stakeholders, including our employees, the focus was around designing a department that was centered around the individuals that we serve and making sure that we know how they are navigating the system to avoid that massive bureaucracy. The agency's director says they'll be forming a new office of customer experience to help people navigate complex systems of health care and human services. And they are complex. Uh, what we want to make sure is to support individuals to navigate that complexity and make the connections that need to be made in order for them to get resources that they qualify for. Now that Office of Customer Experience will be up and running in the next year. On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.